Thank you, Dick. We look forward to your coverage of the women's free program in skating later on this evening. But for now, we're back at the Lennon Sport and Concert Complex for more gymnastics. Hi, I'm Bart Connor. Tonight, we're going to be seeing a totally new event, not only for the Goodwill Games, but for gymnastics in general. It's called the Mixed Team Competition. Now, the way this works, each team is comprised of two men and two women. Now, between the two women, they will perform on all four women's events. Between the two men, they will perform on all six events. The total of their 10 scores will be their mixed team result. Joining me is Kathy Johnson. It's a little complicated, Kathy, but uh, tell me what you think of this format. It is, it is brand new. It's new for everyone, including us. We've seen mixed pair competition over the last 15 years, which combines a man and a woman competing in a single elimination type tournament. So this is entirely different. All scores will count, and that's what's going to put some pressure on these gymnasts. The key will definitely be consistency here. But I also think we're going to see them have a little bit of fun cheering each other on. Now, I guess the best part about this type of format is we do get a chance once again to see some of the stars of the Goodwill Games gymnastics, like our all-around champion, Alexei Namoff, and American Shannon Miller. And there's also an added incentive. There's going to be prize money for the winner on each event. So I'm sure that's in the back of their mind. Now, this competition will take place over two days. Tonight, we'll be seeing competition for the women in the vault and the uneven bars, and the men will compete in the floor exercise, the pommel horse, and the rings. Now we're ready to start our competition in this mixed team format. First up for the Romanian team on the women's vault, this is Ana Maria Bican. She has gone without medals here. She won a team with the silver, but individually, she's been fourth, fifth, and sixth in many of the events. This vault is worth a 10.0, a very difficult Yurchenko vault with a double twist. Nice landing, too. Very nice landing. And in this competition, the gymnasts are performing two vaults, and the average of the two vaults will be their total score. Notice the round-off entry, back hands bring to the horse. A double twist, a little low, and not perfect form. Legs slightly bent. The score, a 9.775 for Ana Maria Bican on her first vault. It will be averaging the two vaults in this competition. She's performing the same vault again, much better. She had more height, more distance, and a cleaner position in the air. The legs were straight, toes were pointed, much stronger in this vault. Just 14 years old, so she's really on target in terms of preparations for the 96 Olympics in Atlanta. On the floor now for Russia, this is Yevgeny Shabayev. The score for Anna Maria Bikan's second vault was a very high 9.8. She stuck that landing nicely. <laughs> Very strong. And a pass we're going to see many times in competition. Three front layouts that awards him bonus points from the judges. The men's floor routine lasts between 50 and 70 seconds, combining front tumbling elements, back tumbling elements. They have to cover the entire floor area. Typically, the Russians just give us the most amazing routines. Complex, very high tumbling, the most difficulty, really, of all of the competitors in the competition. Difficult full twisting double back. You can see he's really working in this routine. After several days of competition. This really is the fifth day in a row for the men to compete. And there's no way in the world they're not tired. So you can really see the work. Dismount is a full twisting double bat. They really had to pull hard to make it. We're going to go over to the uneven bars. This is Ianello Lawayesh. 
Yevgeny Shabayev a 9.4 on the floor exercise. <laughs> Notice she hit the low bar on that first skill coming down. But she's managed to get her momentum going. We saw her do that in the warm-up session. She hit her heels and just completely flew off the bars. What's strange is I watched her all the last few days in workout. She's been hitting this routine absolutely perfectly until today and started having a little bit of timing problem on that skill. We're beginning to see this dismount more and more, a double layout. We'll be back with the score for Ionella Loash in a moment. Here at the Goodwill Games, we're getting ready to see the vault of Oksana Chusovitina. A quick update on the scores. Ionella Loash, a 9.5 on the uneven bars. Here is Chuso Vitina, one of the most powerful vaulters in the world, maybe of all time. Quite often she's been in the top three in this event. Great power, a little hop on the landing. It's a vault that's worth 9.9 .9 in the code of points. She has very nice push, nice open position, but a little hop on the landing. The score for Chuso Vitina on her first vault, a 9.75. Terrific score. In this competition, the gymnast averaged the two vaults. She's performing the same vault again. Handspring front pike with a half twist. I really think she can improve on this vault. I've seen her do this vault better in terms of height and distance. She can get up on top of the horse. That was better. Wow. She got quite a bit more distance on the vault. And the, of course the landing is obvious. She was a last minute substitute at the 91 World Championships in Indianapolis for her teammate Grudneva who got hurt. And she came in and won the gold on the floor and took a silver in that event, the vault. On the bars now, Zhang Li, after a disastrous performance on the vault, she is back up and looks ready to go. And this is a very good event for her. Look at all of the work, the pirouettes, release moves. The only thing she's weak at is right there, the small little transition moves. She's just 15 years old, and she's recovered beautifully from that terrible crash on the vault. This is great difficulty. I've never seen anyone pirouette out of that inverted giant. They are always so innovative. They're usually the first gymnast to perform something on the uneven bars. Up on the rings now, Alexei Voropayev. The score for Chusovitina, her second vault was a 9.825, which means her average is 9.787. This is just a terrific event for Borobayev. He's already won five medals at these Goodwill Games, two of them gold. He had the silver on this event. He is such an aggressive competitor. He really goes after every single element. If anything, he would overdo a skill rather than underdo. Has already won gold medals at World Championships and at the Olympics with the former Soviet team. The score on the bars for Zhang Li at 9475. Very high dismount. Great landing. Something he's really been known for here at the Google Games. He really has been nailing things. You're right. It's something about his mental focus, that he's really looking for those landings and making sure that he does not move. On the pommel horse now, Wang Dong. It's a great event for him. He says it's his favorite event. Watch how extended his body line is. That's just absolutely great. 
all the way from the shoulders all the way down through the feet the whole idea is to keep one complete straight line no breaking in the line at the hips The score over on the rings for rope, I have a 9775. Oh, oh, gosh, that's too bad. It was a great routine. He covered pretty well on the dismount, but his hand definitely slipped. Slipped off right there. Now on the bars, Yelena Grosheva from Russia. Somewhat overshadowed by the great Russian gymnast here, but boy, is she spectacular. She did an excellent job in the team competition. Look at the height on her release moves. They are just way up in the air. She completely finishes the somersault above the level of the bar. Beautiful double front. Oh, it's tough to land, and she had to take a couple of running steps out of it. She did have a good landing, a 9.825 was her score earlier in the week on this event, and she stuck this dismount. This is really hard, but look how high it is. That's really spectacular. It's too bad she couldn't stick it. The score for China's Wong Dong on the pommel horse, 9.2. Yelena Grosheva, a 9.625. We'll be back with more gymnastics here at the Goodwill Games. Competition here at the Goodwill Games, Bart Connor, along with Kathy Johnson. We're getting ready to see some of the finest gymnasts in the world, including this young lady, Svetlana Horkina. She won a gold with the Russian team. She won a gold on the bars and a bronze in the vault in this competition. She has a great vault. This is so unusual. She's the only one I've seen do this vault. Round off, half on, half off, back. <laughs> that really is a. Very complicated move. They have to come up with a name for this. <laughs> Round off half on, then she does a queer bow off, which is a half twist back off. It's worth a 10.0, very difficult. Over to the floor exercise now. Cheney Umphrey from the United States will go back over to the vault to get Atlanta Horkina's second vault. 24 years old out of UCLA, originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Very nice double layout. A tiny bit low on the landing, but it's beautiful in the air. This is the fifth day in a row of competition for the men. you got to believe that they're tired. I think that's why you saw his knees bend just a little more than usual on the landing. This is a very important tumbling pass. Combination of front tumbling elements. Layout, layout, layout front with a half. Not bad. doesn't look that hard, but it's the kind of front tumbling elements that earn bonus points. Uh. Last tumbling run. Oh, didn't quite get enough lift on the double back to really stick the landing. We'll come back and update you on Cheney's score. We go back now over to the vault. The Russian team, Svetlana Horkina, 9-8, as you see, was the score for that first vault, and she can even do better yet. She is really rewarded for doing something out of the ordinary, and she does it very well. No. I, I was going to say that was a better vault in the air. How about that for control on the landing? She bends in and flexes. Very intricate vault, very complex, and as you said, she really worked for the landing. Those knees bent a little too far, and she stood right up. On the horse now, Alexander Shostak.
beautiful flares. Notice how wide the legs are open, how clean the form is, and how complex the movement is as he travels up to the pommels. He's part of the mixed team, combining Ukraine and Belarus. Which is a very strong team. Good performance. Look at the height. He has great amplitude. Solid landing on the dismount. On the uneven bars now, Irina Bulakova comes from Ukraine. She represents the mixed team, the second mixed team from Belarus and Ukraine. The judges are looking for combinations like that, pirouetting moves right into release moves. That helps give them the bonus points they need to come from a 10.0 start value. Very nice routine. Had plenty of difficulty, a nice variety of difficulty as well. Now Blaine Wilson from Ohio State University will get ready to go on the rings. The score for Cheney Humphrey on the floor was only a 9.0. The second vault for Horkina, a 9.825. Her average, a 9.812. Blaine turned 20 years old just three days ago here in St. Petersburg. Boy, he is strong. Back up rise to a Maltese. A giant to an inverted cross. Nice work. The gymnasts are all trying to do swing elements right to the strength moves to earn bonus points from the judges. This is a nice performance for Blaine. Layout, double with a full twist. Good job. And we'll be back with his score in a minute. For many years, the best gymnasts in the world came from far off places like Romania and Russia. But now the best is from America. It's Shannon Miller. The U.S. women have certainly made their mark on the world of gymnastics starting 24 years ago. In 1970, Kathy Rigby brought gymnastics prominence to the United States with a silver medal at the World Championships on the balance beam. Her achievement was historic and unexpected. Kathy Rigby is the first person from her country to win a medal of any kind in the World Gymnastics Championship. There she is. Can you tell us any of the thoughts that are going through your mind now? Uh, I just feel crazy. I don't know. As I'm still not over the shock, I don't think. It would be 1978 before another American gymnast would medal at the World Championships. Marsha Frederick won a gold for her routine on the uneven bars. The first gold medal in U.S. history. This. Beautiful, and she can do it! Sensational she can exercise do it. by Marsha Frederick. The Americans don't seem to shake Woo. anymore. Not in this sport. In 1984, Mary Lou Retton exploded into Olympic history by winning the all-around at the Los Angeles Games. It remains the only Olympic all-around gold medal ever won by an American. There it is, the Retton was an athlete with exquisite timing. And she not only during her routines, but also in the history of the sport. Just three years earlier, Bella Caroli had defected from Romania to the United States. Retton was his first American star. In addition, the Olympics were held on home turf for Retton, and the powerful Soviet team had boycotted the games. Retton also peaked at exactly the right moment. She clinched the title definitively with Bella Caroli at her side. In just three years in America, he had completely altered the face of U.S. gymnastics. And 10, the gold medal. The gold medal goes to Mary Lou Retton. Oh, what a party they'll have in Fairmont, West what Virginia a nice tonight. Job. Good job. Finally, American gymnasts were gaining respect worldwide. In 1991, Kim Zemesco became the world all-around champion, the first American ever to win the coveted title. Mm -hmm. 
another Caroli protege, Zemesco was expected to excel at the Barcelona Olympics. Under immense pressure and struggling with an untimely injury, she faltered, and another U.S. star was ready to rise. Shannon Miller became the most medaled gymnast in a non-boycotted Olympics when she brought home five medals, two silver and three bronze from Barcelona. Although she wasn't a student of Bella Caroli's, Shannon's coach Steve Nuno had spent time as Caroli's assistant and brought the mark of the master to his own gymnast. Shannon then won the 93 and 94 World Championships, the only American ever to repeat as world all-around champion. My goals when I was little was just, you know, to have fun and do the best I could in competition. It wasn't until like a couple years before the Olympics that I actually started believing that I might make the team. And that's when it really started becoming a goal for me. Layoff step out. Shannon is now aiming for her second Olympic berth, a place on the 1996 team. Although she wasn't even born when Kathy Rigby won her medal in 1970, Shannon Miller has finally given the Americans a consistency and a prominence in gymnastics that they never had before. Our gymnastics competition continues here in St. Petersburg. Here is the queen of gymnastics, two-time world all-around champion Shannon Miller from Edmond, Oklahoma. She did a fine job here all week long at the Goodwill Games. And this is a strong event for Shannon. Vault's worth a 10.0. It's an Arabian layout front out of the round off entry vault. Very, very difficult because of the landing. She won the silver medal in this event here at the Goodwill Games. Notice where the half twist occurs, right here, and then it's a front layout somersault. She's a tiny bit in a pike position, and she has a step on the landing. Those will be the slight deductions. Well, from one crowd favorite to another, we go over to the floor now. Grigory Misutin has just been a favorite of the fans here, and boy, this is one great event for him, the floor. He's so pretty on this event, even in the dynamic moves like that. Double layout with a full twist. He won the gold medal here earlier this week. He is so strong. He's 23 years old. He's representing Ukraine here, but he trains in Moscow. Many of the gymnasts who trained there for years when the former Soviet team used Moscow as their training headquarters continue to train there together, but then go home and represent their individual countries now when they go to international competitions. It's the reason they've been able to stay as strong as they have. We'll come back with the score for Grigori Misut. Now back over to the vault. Shannon Miller's first vault, a 9.8. As you mentioned, it had a maximum value of the perfect 10. That is a great score because she can stick this vault better. She can build on that score with a better landing. It was a better vault. And she was trying to <laughs> trick the judges into believing that she stuck the ball. I didn't take a step, did I? This really was a better ball. We'll see what they do with the score. It was much springier. Look how high she is. Much higher than the first ball. And she bounced right back into the finished position. Very explosive on the block. And that's the push off the horse. Andre Khan now from Belarus on the pommel horse. Was a silver in the team competition here earlier in the week. He really maintains a nice straight body line throughout his swing. And he's able to really keep his legs together. Oh, oh. no. I think we're certainly seeing fatigue errors at this point. Yeah, he had done very well on the horse earlier in the week, and then in the all-around finals, had only an 8.7. Let's see what happened. He's doing a complicated move on one pommel. Hard to guess, really.
9.787 is the average for Shannon Miller's two vaults. Now this is Mariana Webster from the United States. Boy, she had a great competition here at the Goodwill Games in the all-around. This is a good event for Mariana. Oh, really should have taken that skill to handstand. It'll just be a slight deduction, but... Nice dismount. That was the best part of the routine. A pike open layout. Really, the transition to low bar should have gone to handstand. We'll see if she needed that for her bonus points to come out of a 10. She won a bronze medal on the balance beam here at the Goodwill Games. Good experience for 15-year-old Mariana Webster. Good. On the rings now from Russia, this is Dmitry Vasilenko. Beautiful mount. Back roll, very slow movement around to a cross and an L cross. This is unusual combination. He's just 18 years old and like the star of the meet, Alexei Namov really has amazing mechanics. Part quite often it's the little things that make things look so exceptional. Look how pointed his toes are. Oh, he's picked up some swing here. Good landing on the dismount. So we'll come back with the score for Vasilenko and an update on the other scores as well in a moment. Belarus on the vault. This is one of her best events. She was sixth in this event, but only because she had a weak second vault. She has a terrific level of difficulty. Yurchenko with a double twist. She is so consistent with this vault, and it's the most difficult vault you can do, really. The technique required to get two twists around is very complex. Let's get you up to speed on the scores real quickly. This is Rudnitsky. He'll be on the floor. 9-1-5 was the score for Andre Kahn on the horse, and 9-5-7-5 for Mariana Webster from the U.S. on the uneven bars. Very strong, opening two runs. The high score of the day on the floor so far was for Grigory Misutin, had a 9-8-2-5. Watch this finished position. His presentation is excellent throughout the whole routine. The detail, details really are important in gymnastics. Presentation, style, performance quality, as well as the big tricks that we see. And this is gorgeous. He really gets his leg high on the Y scale. Very strong routine, one of the strongest we've seen on the floor exercise. Very, very explosive, especially after five days of competition. We go back over to the vault now, Yelena Piskun. Her first vault was a 9825. And she can improve on that. She's so strong and consistent with this vault. That was better. It was better in the air, and of course the landing was obvious. Amazing. The score for Vasilenko on the rings was a 9.65. This is when you get a huge score, when you start with a 9.8 on your first vault, and then you come back with a vault that's much better. Now to the horse, Drew Durbin from the United States. This is one of his best events. Drew was born in Vietnam when he was nine months old, was adopted to a family in the United States. He has had an exceptional competition here at the Goodwill Games. It's his first big international meet. He handled the pressure in the team competition, was the top American there, and a great performance here. 
We'll be back with more gymnastics here at the Goodwill Games. All the two gold medals went to the Soviets, and they had more total medals than all the other competing nations combined. And the beat has mostly gone right on here at the Goodwill Games. The Russians have had a near stranglehold on the sport. Now for more of the mixed team gymnastics competition, let's go back to Kathy Johnson and Bart Connor. We're back now on the uneven bars. Svetlana Horkina, she won the gold medal here. And you will be amazed with this routine. She's five feet four inches tall, which is extremely tall for a gymnast. And she swings skills she shouldn't be able to do like that one. That's a great combination. We're seeing from all the gymnasts, big skills, big release moves, but it's her transition that really add to this routine. Full twisting double back dismount. She needs a great landing here. And she makes it more difficult by doing a full twist on the second somersault. Well, it's Bart Connor and Kathy Johnson. Our gymnastics competition continues here in St. Petersburg. A quick update on the scores. Vitaly Rudnitsky on the floor, a 9-5-2-5. A 9-9 for Yelena Piscun on her second ball from an average of a 9-8-6-2 is the high for the day. Now on the rings for the United States. This is Scott Keswick, originally from Las Vegas, competed for UCLA. Three-time national champion here on the rings. Qualified for the event finals on this event at the World Championships and here at the Goodwill Games. Won a bronze medal. He shows great strength elements throughout the routine, like this iron cross in an L position. He does a real difficult dismount, double twisting, double back. I think he'll be happy with that performance. In the finals, he stuck that landing. Highly complicated. Two flips, two twists. No other gymnast is doing that in this competition on the rings. The score for Drew Durbin over on the horse was a 9-4-5. The score on the bars for Svetlana Horkina a 9-8-7-5. Oksana Nisnik now on the ball. She's surprisingly strong on this event. Front pike with a half twist. She gets exceptional distance. Considering her body size and her build, she looks very frail. But her technique is excellent. And she gets every ounce of her strength and power on this ball. To the floor now. United States' is Blaine Wilson out of Ohio State. Good landing. Blaine is very strong, as you can tell. That's a plange, and he's going to squeeze it on up to the handstand. That's tough. He'll earn bonus points for that. Here's his front tumbling. The alternating layout front, tuck, layout. Little variation on a most common tumbling run. Blaine is a really outgoing guy. You chat with him in the warm-up gym, and he's cutting everybody up and having a good time. I think he's really perhaps a breath of fresh air for the United States men's team, who uh, I think need a few personalities, like a guy like Blaine Wilson. Good performance. <laughs> Oksana Nisnik now. First ball was a 9 and 6, 7, 5. This ball is worth a 9.9. And if she can come up with a better landing, a much higher score. Excellent vault in the air and beautiful landing. You can really tell especially if you're a gymnast, right when the gymnast comes off the horse, if they're on, and she is right on in this vault, much higher, more distance, just better technique, and she was able to come out with the landing. And we'll be back with her score in just a minute. Four gold medals here. And the most important of all, it was the all-around gold.
Beautiful work as he flares and travels across the horse. Nicely done. The score, by the way, for Scott Keswick over on the rings from the U.S. was a 9-7-7-5. <laughs> He's really working the crowd here, isn't he? He's been doing that all week. I saw him shoot a peace sign to someone, winks at the camera. Very nice amplitude. That's the bigness of the skill. The score for Oksana Kniznik, a 9-7-1-2 for her average. Jenny Thompson from Wichita Falls, Texas, has high hopes for gymnastic success. For a look at how dedicated a young gymnast must be, here's more. Practicing and perfecting her skills since she was five, Jenny Thompson, now 13 years old, is beginning to realize her goal of competing at the top level of gymnastics, something her coach always knew she'd do. As far as Jenny goes, I knew that Jenny had the talent at six years old because she was just a, an amazing uh, talent at that level. She could keep her legs straight and pointed at everything that she did. But talent alone isn't enough. In 1992, when her coach, Bella Caroli, retired, Jenny was faced with the difficult prospect of moving away from Houston and most of her family to train with Steve Nuno in Oklahoma. Well, I don't live with my dad because he couldn't move up here because there wasn't anywhere to work, so... He just, I'm not with my brother either. And that's a pretty big sacrifice. Yet Jenny knows that if she wants to follow in the footsteps of world champion Shannon Miller, with whom she's trained and watched for most of her career, this is one of many sacrifices she must make. If you want to get anything, you have to work hard at it. Just set your goals and work for them. And I just try to do my best, and I probably push myself the hardest. I think I've already pretty much been successful, but I would like to be more successful in the upcoming years. This is little Jenny Thompson, just 13 years old. She had a birthday here in St. Petersburg. She's fun to watch in the bars. And this is her first time at a real big international meet. She's four feet one and just 58 pounds. Nice combination. Really racking up bonus points, combining difficult elements back to back. Trains with Steve Nuno, her training partner, of course, world champion Shannon Miller. And a double pike dismount. Good for her. I think she's really gotten something out of these Goodwill games. Not a lot of coaches would push their young kids into this kind of pressure, but she seems to be able to handle it. On the rings now, Grigory Misyutin from Ukraine. The former world champion on this event. 1991. Excellent opening strength moves. Watch this move here. From the L, he presses to a plan, straight body, and then he's going to press it on up to the handstand. Gymnastics is so pretty when it's done with ease. Beautiful position in the double layout with a full twist. And when we come back, we'll have the score for Grigory Miss Mutant. Handspring front pike. Oh. oh, that's a shame. It's worth a 9.8. And the fold she did was done very well. Up until the landing, it's like her legs just gave out slightly because she was standing straight up and her knees just buckled and it dropped her. Over to the floor now, Dmitry Vasilenko from Russia. We saw him on the rings. By the way, his score was changed. It was originally a 9.65. It had been changed to a 9.625. My, what a shock. A changed score here at the Goodwill Games. <laughs> Seems like about two-thirds of the scores have been changed or modified in some way. He has an incredible toe point. 
that really just adds that extra little something to every skill that he does. You know, my theory on that, it's, that's because he's only 18 years old. It seems like the older you get, the more your ankles get beat up, and then you can't really point your feet, don't you think? That sounds like an excuse. That was an unbelievable double front just down the side of the floor. That's amazing. He does an incredible double front and then has a little trouble with a front with a full twist. Boy, a nice level of difficulty and done exceptionally well. The only problem was on that middle tumbling run, and it wasn't a big problem. It was just slightly under-rotated. 9.1 to score for Sunny Maduna on her first vault. She can obviously do a little bit better here. There you go. That's the vault she hoped to do here. This was an exceptional vault for Sunny. Nice technique. Good pike position. Just a slight knee bend to come in for the landing. The landing was perfect. An update on the scores. Alexei Namoff had a 9-7 on the horse. Jenny Thompson a 9-4-2-5. Gregory Misutin a 9-6-2-5 on the rings. Here is Scott Keswick. Had trouble here on this event of the Goodwill Games. Oh, he almost got hung up there. You know, the good thing about Scott Keswick is he always goes for a really difficult routine. He never holds back. These days, under the new rules, the gymnasts have to go for all the difficulty or they can't get a decent score. And that doesn't intimidate this young man at all. Oh, no, that was a silly mistake at the end. <laughs> Concentration error? Probably. Let's see what happened here, Kathy. Looked like his hands might have slipped right on that position. Didn't quite get it up on top of the horse. It was on the side, and it's next to impossible to keep your grip there. The second vault score for Sonny Maduna, 9.575, or average of 9.337. Yelena Piscoon now on one of her best events, the bars. She has an amazing amount of difficulty in all of her routines, not just here on the uneven bars. She's very well trained in every competition. She's consistent. Strong dismount, pike open layout. That's a great routine. And on the rings now, Vitali Rudnitsky will be the final performer in this first half of the mixed team competition. Rudnitsky on the mixed team from Belarus and Ukraine. They have two mixed teams in this event. It's a nice combination. Excellent swing to strength work. The judges are looking for the gymnast to hold the strength moves a minimum of two seconds. If they do not, they will not earn full credit for the move or have a chance at any of the bonus points. This is a cool dismount. Great dismount. Double pike going frontwards. Very unusual. Now watch this. Front double pike with a half twist. Great originality. And the score for Yelena Piscoon over on the bars was a 9.825. As we wait on the score for Rudnitsky on the rings. The score for Vitaly Rudnitsky, a 9.525. The score on the horse for Scott Keswick was a 9.1. We will be back with the team standings to this point. From the mixed team competition here in St. Petersburg, the team from Belarus and Ukraine number one, led by Yelena Piskun, 
gave us a thrill on the vault. The highest score of the night, a 9.9, .9, with an amazing double twist and phenomenal landing. Her teammate then, Grigori Misutin, was superb on the floor. Showed off his elegant and amazing technique on very difficult skills. Then the team from Russia number one, which includes this young lady, Svetlana Horkina, performed well on the uneven bars. Scored a 9.875, showing amazing ease and a nice variety of difficulty. Her teammate, the all-around champion here, Alexei Namov, slashed his way through a terrific pommel horse routine. Great amplitude, showing exactly why he's the all-around champion of the Goodwill Games. Then for the United States, Shannon Miller had a good vault. She performed an excellent vault, but still her Team USA 1 is only fifth just behind USA 2. Well, let's take a look at the standing. There you have it, Belarus and Ukraine number one in first, Russia number one, two tenths of a point behind, and as you see, United States in fourth and in fifth. Now the competition concludes tomorrow with competition for the women and the balance beam and the floor exercise, and the men will compete in the vault, parallel bars, and horizontal bar. For Kathy Johnson, I'm Bart Connor. Let's go out to diving with John Neighbor. <laughs>